Hi friends, I'm Brienne from Brienne Gabrielle Cakes and thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be making sugar leaves. They're a staple and a must for anybody who wants to make or learn about making sugar flowers. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to make sure you subscribe down below and give me a big thumbs up. And without any further ado, let's begin. Using our moss green gum paste, we're going to want to take off a piece and work with only the amount that you want to create with. So you're not going to want to use the whole piece of green gum paste, you're going to want to work in smaller chunks so that your gum paste doesn't dry out. This is so important, you're going to want to knead and um, condition your gum paste so that it's nice and moisturized so that when you go to roll out your uh, leaves, they don't dry or crack when you're working with them. Okay, you're going to roll your gum paste into a log and then you're going to press them into a groove board. Okay, now taking your rolling pin, you're going to roll your gum paste out till it's nice and flat. And the thinness that you're looking for is that you want to be able to see the lines in the groove board down below. My hands were a little slippery here, so right back to it. Continue rolling out. And these are the lines that I'm looking for, just like this. Okay, take your gum paste off and flip it over. And you're going to see these lines. The lines are going to be raised. And then you're going to want to take your cutter and press firmly. so that you get a clean cut when you use your cutters. Now carefully remove your um, freshly cut leaves out of the gum paste. And be sure to take your excess gum paste, add a little bit of shortening to it, and then roll it back up into a ball and then place it into your Ziploc bag. Now taking your 24 gauge wire here, you're going to dip it into some egg whites and you're going to insert into the bottom half of your leaf, just like so. Make sure that you're not, um, you're very gentle with this and you use your fingers as a guide as to where the wire is. That way you don't poke through the front and then it's going to look like so. Okay, now you're going to vein your leaf, you're going to take your mold, it has a top and a bottom, and you're going to insert it, make sure that it's lined up with the center of the mold, and you're going to press firmly. Firmly enough that your leaf is not going to bust through, like the wire is going to bust through, but enough that you're going to get a nice impression on your leaf. Then you're going to pinch the base, and I like to twist the top or the sides to create movement so that I have an assortment of different shapes and sizes of leaves for when I'm working and then I hang these guys to dry for 24 hours before I go ahead and dust them. <laughs> 